Hello, Tony Candela here, author of Automotive Wiring and Electrical Systems and my newly published book, Automotive Electrical Performance Projects. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a project that I'm sure a number of you have considered, and that would be converting from 12 volt batteries to 14 volt batteries. Um, I have here on the workbench all of the items necessary to perform this conversion in our chosen vehicle. Um, the number one challenge that you're going to have is charging and maintaining a surface charge on a 14 volt battery takes substantially more voltage than it does to do so on a 12 volt battery. Um, so your alternator today uh, may make between 13.8 and 14.4 volts when the vehicle is running and that just simply is not enough um, voltage to be able to charge and maintain a surface charge on a 14 volt battery. So that's the challenge, the first challenge in this project is how do we do that? Now the vehicle that we're going to install these batteries in has a General Motors AD style alternator on it currently made by Iraghi Alternator. And that alternator has a regulator harness that looks something like that. And what I have in my hand is a device from Mechman Alternators. And this device is designed to plug in line with the regulator harness so that we can actually manipulate the output voltage of the alternator um, to be able to charge this pair of batteries. Now we're going to do so by utilizing this potentiometer that's built into this harness and uh, by adjusting that we can actually cause the regulator in the alternator to think that the battery voltage is lower than what it actually is um, which in turn will increase the overall output voltage of the alternator to the point at which we desire. Uh, which is going to be somewhere between 16.5 and 16.8 volts. So that's substantially more output voltage, which leads us to our next challenge. Um, with the vehicle running, um, we're going to now have um, in excess of 2 volts greater operating voltage for all of our electronic accessories. Um, so things like um, electric fans, electric water pumps, electric fuel pumps, when we increase the operating voltage to those devices we're also going to increase the amount of current that flows to them. So when we increase voltage and current um, that device is going to respond by doing more work. Now in the case of our electronic fuel pump that is undesirable. Um, as the vehicle is currently the electronic fuel pump is set to make 21 uh, pounds of fuel pressure so if we increase the voltage and current that goes to that, um, we're also going to increase the amount of fuel that the pump moves. And uh, in order to be able to get our fuel pressure in order, we would have to do so manually via the regulator. Um, but the fact remains is that we're still going to move a greater volume of fuel to the front of the vehicle and then back down the return line to the back of the vehicle. And this can cause the heating of the fuel, which is an undesirable effect. So there is a very clever device on the market that works hand in hand with this project to be able to solve that problem. And the device I'm speaking of is the Aeromotive FPSC. This is their fuel pump speed controller. Now, notice this is not like a pair of 30 amp relays. It looks nothing like that because this is a solid state device. And what this device does is this device utilizes pulse width modulation to be able to regulate the amount of current that flows to the fuel pump without reducing its voltage. The net result is that we can actually slow down the fuel pump to bring our operating pressure back in line. Now, that is a really good thing for a project like this. Now the second benefit of using a device like this, even if you did not um, convert to 14 volt batteries, is anyone that has a vehicle with an electric fuel pump knows they're noisy. Um, no matter how you isolate them and or mount them, they're just noisy. 
So this device also decreases the amount of pump noise. That's a good thing. So it allows you to listen to more to your exhaust tone or your gear whine or whatever it is you like to listen to. And less fuel pump noise is always a good thing. Now this kit includes generous quantities of 10 gauge, both power and ground wire. And those are needed to connect the uh, controller itself to the battery and then from the controller directly to the pump itself. Um, and then it also includes um, a generous assortment of all different types of high quality connectors and uh, a circuit breaker, etc. You'll see as we install the kit how we utilize some of those components. And then it also includes uh, lengths of wire to connect to the TAC, the manual override switch, um, and the ignition circuit in the vehicle. Now, the last thing I want to show you before we begin this project is this IntelliCharger from XS Power. This is a 14 volt charger designed specifically for AGM batteries. This is a handy thing to have um, in the event you leave the vehicle parked for a long time. It is not advisable to start a vehicle with batteries that are not fully charged and let the alternator do that because that is really hard on the alternator. Um, in addition, if you wanted to be able to put a quick charge in the batteries uh, between rounds um, in the pit or something like that, this would uh, be handy in doing so. Um, it does perform battery charging um, in the way that AGM batteries are designed to be charged. And uh, it's very precise in how it does that. So uh, that telecharger is a really handy thing to have. Now. Um, XS Power offers not only 14 volt batteries, but they also offer traditional 12 volt batteries and 16 volt batteries. And um, if you've read my books, you notice that I do use their products uh, from time to time because I am um, a firm believer in their quality. So without further ado, let's get to the uh, project at hand. So stay tuned.